Now I get this question pretty often and it's, uh, should I learn Linux along with my CCNA? And uh, you know, I wouldn't get bogged down with it to begin with, because Linux is a whole thing. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a whole new world. It's like learning Windows if you've never dealt with Windows before. Imagine that. If you're going through your CCNA, you're just starting out, focus on that. Get that stuff down. But uh, I would absolutely add Linux to your, uh, your training path to your list. Now, why do I say that? Well, most of uh, Cisco's new stuff, if you're, if you're doing a Cisco security, you'll have Cisco Firepower and their, their various appliances. If you're doing uh, collaboration, you'll have uh, Cisco Call Manager or any of their other appliances. Um, it's all Linux-based. Now, while you don't have to know a ton of Linux to administer them on the, on the front side, on the back side, you might have, on the back side, on the back end, you might have to do some things. So knowing Linux is a huge plus. It's pretty important. Uh, Cisco even created a, a, a little training path to learn some Linux. And I, I think it's very important to learn some Linux. I now I would by no means consider myself a, a Linux expert, but I, ha, I have someone up Ubuntu. I've done some Debian. Uh, I, I play with Python inside Linux. Um, so I, I use it and I'm trying to learn it. I've done a few things like I've spun up, uh, I've done OpenVPN in a, in a, a Debian box and uh, I've played with the Raspberry Pi, you know, which is Linux based. So it's, I think it's very important to learn it and uh, and become very familiar with it because I think, uh, I, I forget where I read it, but you can look it up right now. Majority of the world's servers, web servers are running off Linux, off of uh, off of Tomcat, Red Hat. That's, that's how things are now. Uh, many companies are Linux only. So many of the appliances we will run into, like if you uh, if you deal at all with Nexus switches, which is Cisco's data center class switches, that's Linux based. The file system is Linux based. So when when it comes to should I learn Linux, uh, yeah, I put it in the same uh, I put it in the same box as Python and the skill set, kind of the next generation network engineer. You're gonna have to know networking, Python, and uh, yeah, Linux. Uh, pick your flavor. You'll, you'll learn it. Uh, how do you learn Linux? There's a bunch of courses out there. You can find really cheap ones on Udemy. I recommend going to CBT Nuggets. They have amazing Linux courses. Uh, you can check it out there. And like I said, I am by no means a Linux expert, but I have had to deal with it quite a bit with collaboration and the fact that every collaboration application runs off of Linux, off of Red Hat. And just knowing a little bit really, really helps. And I, I wish I knew more. So it's definitely on my list to learn a lot more Linux. And I think it should be on yours just to get some familiarity with it. And the beautiful part about learning Linux is that it's it's really easy to get started. Like with Windows, you have to, I mean, most laptops come pre-built with uh, Windows, right? But with Linux, you can download it right now. Download VirtualBox, uh, download a Ubuntu image and or yeah, I'm an image, but download a Ubuntu ISO and install Ubuntu and just play with it. It's, it's got a pretty GUI for you guys, so you can kind of get used to that. You can also go on the back end and do command line stuff, and it's really great for uh, learning Python. And if you go through David Bombel's Python for Network Engineers course, you'll be getting hit with some Linux stuff too because we're, we're running our, our Python commands and, and things like that, our Python scripts, rather, from the Linux box. So it's definitely important. Add it to your list. If you're just getting into networking, you're just getting your CSense or your CCNA, don't stress about it. It will come and you will have to learn it, but don't stress about it. But if you've just finished up your CCNA looking for other things to study, you're about to jump into your CCMP routing and switching, yeah, add it to your list. Jump into it a little bit. Maybe devote a few days to it a week or a day a week to Linux. It'll be worth your time, trust me. Well guys, that is about it. Don't wanna leave you, I mean, it's a pretty easy uh, question to answer. Should I learn Linux? Yes. Whether or not you need to learn it right now or after your CCNA, that's up to you, but it's very important and it's uh, it's definitely helped me in my career just to know a little bit, the tiny bit I do know. Now again, if you've been following me, this is part of the 10 days of Christmas for Network Chuck, or I keep forgetting what I call it, but uh, today I'm giving away five of David Bombel's Packet Tracer CCNA Lab training bundle thingamajig things, right? It's just where David Bombel goes through, gives you Packet Tracer Labs to go through. Uh, Packet Tracer is a free simulation program for Cisco IOS, so you'll have everything you need to lab up your, your CCNA training, and David Bombel gives you a ton of labs to go through. It's awesome. If you wanna check it out, I'm linking it below. But if you wanna enter today, I'm giving away five today. Uh, I want you to comment below, hashtag CCNA lab. Let me know, let me know what you want for Christmas. Let me know what's on your list. As a network engineer, what do you want for Christmas? Let me know below. Anyways, that's it guys. Wait, hold on, Chuck, that's not it. I told you guys yesterday I'd be doing more, so that's exactly what I'm doing today. Uh, David Bombo actually has a course coming out, what's well, already out, on GNS3. So we're talking about giving away packet tracer courses, but he also has one on GNS3. I want to give you guys a chance to get hit the ground running and learn GNS3. So get ready. 
uh, the first 25 people to comment below, hashtag GNS3, you're gonna get David Bumble's new GNS3 course. Go for it. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Later.